Hello. Today we will look at the functionality of buying parts using Rubricable to find external stores. Remember that Rubricable does not sell parts directly, but it can help you find external stores based on the buy parts functionality. For a mock inventory, a set inventory, and also custom lists, you can use the buy parts tab to add parts to a store quickly and then jump to that store and check out within a few clicks. Once you have the mock selected that you want to be buying the parts for, the fourth tab here with the buy parts title has five main filters. On the left, the three filters will help you narrow down which type of stores you want to use. If you only want to shop from BrickLink stores, you can turn off the BrickOwl independent sellers. In addition, if you only want to look at stores from your region, which may help with shipping, you can turn this on to exclude other stores. And if you are concerned with only getting new parts, you can turn off the secondhand parts option. And if you want this to stay the same every time you open the buy parts tab, you can change the default settings from your profile. Once you have your filters in place, you can see which stores have the parts and what percentage of the parts they have. For this particular mock, there are six stores that have all the parts. Five of them are from BrickLink sellers, and one is from a Brick Owl seller. In terms of purchasing these parts, you will need to go to the respective store, which is not part of Rebrickable. Rebrickable just helps you get there quickly with the specific parts that you want to buy. To do that, you can use the Add to Cart button. It's also worth looking at some of the different prices, and these are sorted lowest to highest. So we'll start with the lowest price, Add to Cart. This will open a new tab on BrickLink this time. And remember, BrickLink is not part of Rubricable, so any issues with the orders here will need to be taken up with the BrickLink seller and not with Rubricable themselves. Since we have 100% of the parts, this would be the only order you need to place to get all the parts for the mock. It automatically creates this cart, and once you have logged in with your own BrickLink account, you can go ahead and check out and purchase these parts. Remember that Rubricable will not show any additional shipping costs. Sometimes the seller does offer free shipping, but these prices are strictly for the bricks that are in that store inventory. Same story with the Brick Owl store here that has 100%. Clicking the Add to Cart will open a new tab on the Brick Owl site. Again, not part of Rubricable, just quickly able to get there from the Buy Parts tab. Once again, all of the parts 100% completion for the mock loaded into a cart here. And again, proceeding to check out with a few clicks. Very simple and easy to buy a list of parts from a mock inventory in this regard. You should also remember that Rubricable has ways to keep track of the loose parts in your collection. And when you're looking for things to build, if you have those parts tracked in a parts list or a different way, Rubricable can keep track of which parts you already own so that you don't need to buy everything again. There are some other tutorial videos set up to show you how to do that in detail, but for now let's just assume that you have a list set up with some parts in it. From the inventory tab you can see which of those parts you already own by using these colored boxes, and in this case the green parts are already owned in our parts list, the red boxes are parts that we do not have tracked, so to keep track of which parts we still need to buy to build this mock, we can use the build this mock functionality. Once again, there is a tutorial that goes into detail about this functionality on the site, but for now we can see that the buy parts tab is also here and can be used to buy the parts that we don't own. From here you can see a different selection of stores that contain these parts for the best price. Once again, populate that cart and place the order to check out. Many of the mocks on Rubricable are more complex and use more parts than any given store will have in its inventory at the time you're ready to buy them. If that's the case on the Buy Parts tab and you find stores that do not have a 100% match, you can still find a store with most of the parts and then sort out the remainder with a custom list. In this case we'll see if we can find a low price that has most of the parts and then select the rest of the parts with a custom list.
if I want to use this store for almost $100 with 82% of the parts, use the grid. The grid will show you which parts the store does have in stock, as well as the parts that it does not have. Once you have that selection narrowed down, use this Add Parts to List, and use a custom list to add the parts. Go to your custom list. And here we have the Buy Parts tab once again. And you can look for a store that has a 100% match. If there isn't a store with a 100% match, you can just repeat the process with another low cost store. until you get worked down to a point where you have all of the parts accounted for. There's also a built-in option called multi-buy, but this goes into much more detail with additional filters and will be covered in a future video.